We all know that computers do not run if the power is turned off. This means electric power is the driving force behind running of a computer. In fact, all components of a computer system are composed of electric switches. Electric switches are similar to light switches which can have two states, on state and off state. The presence of electric signal may be treated as on state and absence of electric signal may be treated as off state. This on and off state of electric switches may be represented using a binary number system which has two digits 0 and 1. 0 may represent false or off state and 1 may represent true or on state. All images, videos, texts and numbers that are stored in a computer are nothing but the sequence of on and off state of many electric switches or you may say it is the sequence of zeros and ones. For example, if you write the text hello in a text editor, it is stored in a computer's memory as a binary number like this. The basic unit of information in a computer system is a binary digit also known as bit. In a binary number system where by means 2, there are two digits 0 and 1. It is also called the base 2 number system as it has only two digits. We human beings do not use binary number system for counting. Rather, we use the decimal number system. DC means 10 having 10 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Decimal number system is also called the base 10 number system as it has 10 unique digits. There are two more number systems used in a computer for representing some information in a simplified manner. First one is the octal number system. Oct means 8, so it is the base 8 number system which has 8 unique symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. The second one is the hexadecimal number system. Hexa means 6 and deci means 10, so it is 6 plus 10 equals to 16, base 16 number system, which has 16 unique symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and A, B, C, D, E, and F. Even octal and hexadecimal numbers are internally represented in the binary form. We shall talk more about these two number systems in our subsequent lectures. Now let us get back to our subject of interest that is the binary number system. Let us learn how binary number system represents information. Let us say I would like to uniquely give a binary name or a binary number as a nickname for my two best friends Ajay and Z. If I represent Ajay as 0, I represent Z as 1. I am done. What if I have to give binary names to three of my friends say Ajay, Z, and Kavya. Single binary digit will not suffice here because we can represent only two unique pieces of information with a single bit. So let me try adding one more bit. Let us take a two bit binary number. How many unique information can you represent using a two bit binary number? I can have 00, 01, 10 and 11. These are the unique binary numbers each of two bit long. That means I can represent four unique information using two bit binary number system. Ajay may be given a binary name 00, Z as 01, Kavya as 10. One binary number 11 is unused here. Now let us summarize. With a single bit, one can represent two unique pieces of information, which is 2 raised to the power 1, that is equals to 2. With 2 bits, one can represent 4 unique pieces of information which is 2 raised to the power 2 equals to 4. Similarly, with 3 bits, one can represent 2 raised to the power 3 that is 8 unique pieces of information. If you follow the same pattern, with n bits, one can represent 2 to the power n unique pieces of information. This is quite an important concept in computer science. With 8 bits, one can represent 2 to the power 8 that is equals to 256 unique objects. That's the power of 2. In this lecture, we learned about various number systems and most importantly about the concept of power of 2 in a binary number system. Stay tuned.